guys, it's Tammy, and it's Saturday morning, and the snowflakes are falling the size of a quarter, mixed with rain. Yeah, that's Wisconsin for you. But anyways, if you're watching this video today, guess what? Boom, you're already winning because you're vertical. Put your problems off to this side, put your stress off to this side, and put that smile on your face. And let's do this day before Easter. Woo! Now, for people with heart failure, ham is a big deal because it does contain a lot of sodium. So, you heart failure peeps out there, please be careful tomorrow. I mean, if you need to, just have a little bit, but don't overindulge because, I mean, I love ham, and who doesn't, but... I'm staying away from it tomorrow. So, anywho, yesterday I posted I weighed 188. Uh, the week before I weighed 189.7. So, I lost a pound, or one pound and seven ounces. So, yay, me. But, so now I weigh 188. And I don't look right. I look deflated. I look more wrinkled um, in areas and parts of my body. I don't, I'm not as puffy as I am in my shoulders. I really don't like that. And is the weight, your goal weight on the scale? Is it you? And for me, it's not. 185 is not my goal weight. Um, I look good at like about between like 190 and 195. Um, that's when I, that's when I feel my best. That's when I look my best. Um, so I am done. I am done dieting. I am done with it. Now, you guys have to make that judge for yourself because when you're starting out on this, on a journey, on a weight loss journey or whatever journey, you have to make the decision, you know, is it time to be done? Is it time that you still need to move on? Now, when I was, um, put, first put on this, um, two years ago, you know, the doctors wanted me at 170 pounds and I looked at them and I'm like, um, me 170. <laughs> no, I don't think so. And I came up with like about 180, 185. So that's what I was shooting for, you know? And then when I saw the plastic surgeon, she said, get down to whatever weight, maintain it for six months, and we'll go from there for skin removal surgery. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, you know, you got to be the judge. So if you set a, a number in your head, when I am done, I want to weigh X amount of pounds, is it really that number that you look your best? Is it really that number that you think that... Oh, that's what I got to get to. That's what I got to get to. And for me, it's not. Now, I'm five foot ten, and I weigh 188 right now. So, and in clothes-wise, I wear a men's medium t-shirt to a large because my so shoulders are so big from lifting heavy weights. Um, my, I went from a 4X men um, jogging pants to now I wear a size 10 women's jeans. Um, with skin removal surgery, it will definitely put me in an eight. Do I want to push it any farther? Yeah, no, I don't think so. That's why I am stopping. I am stopping. I feel better and I look better between like 190 and 195. So my journey, once again, because it was over in November, but then I celebrated, um, is over I want to thank you guys for this wonderful journey, but now a new journey begins. How to maintain the weight after you lose 175 pounds. That's the struggle and it's about to begin. And I'll get into more videos on that, on how to maintain your weight. But let me tell you, I feel good. I feel great. Um... Went out with friends last night out to dinner. They picked a Chinese buffet, which is basically a heart failure's worst, you know, a heart failure person's worst nightmare. Um, I tried to be very selective on the things that I could eat. I mean, there was shrimp there. I took the breading off, um, a lettuce, um, I made myself a salad two times. 
Um, what else did I have? Um, oh, I had some fruit. I had some melons, which are not keto friendly, but it's a lot better than having all that high sodium foods there. And I just watched what I ate and I just, you know, I portioned, I didn't have egg rolls. I didn't have, you know, the crab, the crab stuffed deep fried, uh, star looking things. I don't know what they're called. But, you know, I just, they had shrimp there. They also had chicken there. They had, um, oh, they had roast beef that you could slice that I had some of that. So, I mean, there were choices there, but, you know, a buffet, a Chinese buffet just mm -mm, does not work for me. I, I mean, granted, I love my Chinese, but mm -mm, didn't work for me. And it, it showed this morning because my ankle was a little bit puffy, um, this morning and, um, I got to sneeze. Sorry about that. No, I don't. Um, so my ankle was a little bit puffy this morning and I gained a pound and a half. So I knew, I knew, I know it's just water. I know it's sodium. I know, you know, how to take care of it. I know to drink more water, you know, and just keep doing what, that, what I'm doing. Go back to my sodium, you know, count for the day of 1500 milligrams and it'll come off. It'll come off in a couple of days. No big deal. Um, I know my body. I know how to do that. I don't need to take Lasix. I don't need to take a diuretic. They dehydrate me. So I got to do what I got to do. But yeah, Chinese buffet and me, we just, we don't work out. We, yeah, not a good choice. Um, learned lesson, lesson learned. But yeah, so I hope you guys have a good Easter. Um, have fun. Enjoy your memories. What do I always say? Forget about your diet on Easter when you're with family. You can meal prep if you want to. You can bring your own food, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? You're there to spend it with family and you're there to spend it and make memories, you guys. Have a good Easter. Have a great holiday. And I hope Bunny Fru Fru comes knocking at your door. All right? I'm about to go make a chocolate-crusted, keto-friendly peanut butter cheesecake. Oh yeah, no bake. The only thing you gotta bake though is the crust because you guys know I am not a baker. I cannot bake worth a dickens. You know, you know, the old cookie sheets back in the day where, you know, they made, oh, you can't burn your cookies on these cookie sheets. <laughs> I do. So yeah, a keto-friendly peanut butter cho chocolate crusted cheesecake. Mm, sounds good, right? I'll post a picture later. Um, bye guys. Enjoy your Easter. Bye.